Hi, I'm Angie. Welcome to RV360 by National Indoor RV Centers, where we have all the details on the latest coaches. NIRVC is a trusted resource with RV lifestyle specialists who are here to help you find your dream coach. NIRVC also supports you well after the sale with storage, service, and detailing. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm so excited to be here at Midwest Automotive Designs. I feel like it's a great privilege that they have invited me to come here to give you the behind the scenes tour of their factory so that I can show you how they build quality into these beautiful vans. So I'm so excited. We're gonna go from start to finish and uh, you get to join me on the journey here. So let me know um, if you enjoy this type of video in the comments below and let's go ahead and get started. So I'm here at the holding lot for the chassis. Behind me, around me, you're gonna see about 400 raw chassis, which is about a three month supply for Midwest. Now there's three important things that I want you to know about this. First, you're going to get all the variation that you want. All wheel drive, rear wheel drive, any color, every color that Mercedes offers, you can get in your B van. So that's awesome. Number two and most important, if you were shopping or if you purchased during COVID, you're going to have heard the term decontented chassis or modified chassis. If you know what those terms mean, you're probably were frustrated. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take it back to elementary school times when basically the kids learn you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. That's kind of what we got with our decontented chassis. Basically the plant, uh, Mercedes plant in South Carolina if they didn't have a component at the time that they were manufacturing the chassis, then the U, they didn't add it. And then the dealer manufacturer, they got what they got and we weren't supposed to th throw a fit. So it was very frustrating to the dealers, obviously to you, our customers, and even to the manufacturer. So much so that Midwest made this huge financial investment and bought a free trade zone. So all these chassis that you see around me have come straight from Germany, from the Mercedes plant in Germany. So there's no chance that there is any decondit chassis among these chassis. That's huge. And then thirdly, they've all been trucked in. So there's not a mile on any of these chassis. So that's great news for you, the consumer. So if you watched all the Fixer Up shows where it's demo day, well, that's what happens in this room here. So this is where they remove all the exterior pieces that need to be painted. So your cladding, or what I would refer to as trim, along the side of the van, and then your front bumper, the grill. Uh, Midwest is the only manufacturer that actually paints that front grill. And then everything on the inside dash that you need to paint so that it matches the wood in the rear of the coach, that all happens here. So they're gonna demo it and take it all apart. So you can see they've stripped everything off this chassis that they can. So they've taken the panel here, they're gonna paint it and hydrograph it so that it will match the rest of the paneling throughout the coach. And then the front, the upholstery, the chairs here, they're gone to their upholstery department. They've even made the cutouts here for the outlets on the exterior of the van. So this is the area, the chassis is put on the lift and this is where they add the suspension. So either the sumo springs or the vb air ride which is an upgraded suspension air suspension uh, that's the first approved for the spinner chassis out of the netherlands midwest uses a full one piece of wood here for their floor so you're not going to have any dead space where you're putting two pieces together so one full piece, then they put a silicone adhesive, and then they're gonna put another full piece on top of that, and they're doing that right now. So here are all the captain's chairs from the vans. All the Mercedes skins have been ripped off, so they're prepped and ready to go straight to upholstery. This is the start of the famous Midwest Interior Wood Department. So we've got the CNC cutter doing all the hard work here. 
for our interior wood. So the pieces that the CNC cutter just cut, they're gonna do the basic assembly for the wood cabinets, softening the edges. You can see this is the front cabinet for the TV compartment. This all happens before it goes to hydrograph. <laughs> So here is the raw wood that's been sanded, nice round edges. And now we're gonna put it in the oven for the first seal and the first bake. First seal and first bake of four. So this is the coolest thing I've seen yet. This is the climax of the hydrograph process. This is where we're actually putting the wood grain on the wood. So cool, something that I've never seen before and really cool, literally almost makes this wood waterproof super lightweight and then this beautiful finish to it. So after it goes through the hydrograph process, then it goes into these ovens here to be baked for the fourth time. So this has been baked, basically looks beautiful, beautiful finish and waterproof. Here we see that piece off the door or the dash that they've hydrographed here. So it's gonna match the rest of the wood throughout the van, just gives it that really high end, beautiful finish. So this is the last process in the hydrographing uh, area here. So it's been all done. Now they're either scuffing it because they're gonna have like a satin finish or they're gonna go over to the buffing area for that high gloss finish. No one else does this process in the RV industry, period. So here is the finished piece of wood with the high gloss, absolutely beautiful. All that hard work, time, money spent, <laughs> paid off. Uh, this is gonna be for a cruiser. Every piece has the unit number on there so it knows exactly where this goes. Absolutely beautiful. So here's a complete set, ready to go into the van. All the numbered pieces. This is the satin finish, you gotta see the high gloss. But it just really makes it efficient when they go to install that everything's in one place and they just bring the kit over to the van. So this is the very beginning of the process in the upholstery factory. So Midwest does all of their own upholstery and is absolutely gorgeous. So we have the hand cut ultra leather here, and then we have the CNC cutter laser cut for the foam. So it's gonna be exact. It's gonna be the backing of the ultra leather. So all the pieces of the fabric and the foam are assembled together in a kit. So the whole kit for uh, one van would be like right here. This is gonna be the whole kit. They're gonna add the backing um, with their custom stitch. So come check out that, it's really cool. So here's the quilting machine that does that unique double uh, diamond stitch that looks so nice. They also have the hexagon stitch, which is used for the heritage product, and then the single stitch diamond but really makes that look high-end. One of the first things I noticed the first time I went into a Midwest product was the upholstery. So those kits that you saw earlier, you can see right here, you can see they've surged, they've finished off, finished off the edges, and now they're putting together those captain chair covers. Midwest is unique in that they give you the option for the contrast pipe piping along with your upholstery. So this is some of the uh, piping options that are available and that's that cool color that goes with that new heritage product that I can't wait to show you more of, but just really nice, um, totally custom. So here's a beautiful finished product for the heritage product. You may not have seen the black with the red other than in like a beautiful sports car, kind of that's what it reminds me of. And then we have an option for this ginseng interior. One of the things that we love to do at National Indoor RV Centers is custom orders. So if that's something you want, make sure you give us a call. So this is building four, the newest building for Midwest Automotive Design. So this is where we start putting things back in the van. So we're gonna do the wiring, the walls, the flooring, major appliances for the roof, and our lithium systems or our generators. That all is gonna happen in here along with our awnings. So a lot happens in this brand new building. So this is the MD4 heritage all new 2025 so you're getting to see the very first peak of this um, from the factory even so we've got the wiring that's installed you'll see that all the wiring is color coded which makes it a lot easier when you uh, have repairs that you need 
You see that we've got the cutout for the AC, for venting, and the vinyl floor has been laid. As you can see, they're very aggressive with their wiring clips so that you don't have rattling when you go down the road. And there's three eighths of a mile worth of wiring in this van. Inside now, we've got the insulation being installed. So we have the poly wrap here in the front that is heat resistant, sort of like a radiant barrier. And then we've got the rock wool insulation in the walls, which is an R15 insulation factor. That's in every cavity inside the van, even in the sliding doors and the back doors. So at this stage, this is where your van is either gonna be a generator van or a lithium battery package van. So if we go with the generator package, you're gonna be 2.5 kilowatt. This is the quiet Onan generator, so it's less than 60 decibels and it's rated for national parks. So nice and quiet. Otherwise, you're gonna go with the lithium battery package, which is gonna give you an alternator that will help charge those lithium batteries. So here is the lithium battery. If you go with the Freedom package, you're going to get four of these. So the, one is 270 amp hours. This is the Game Changer battery, brand new by Dragonfly, otherwise known as Battleborn or what you may know it by is Battleborn. So you'll get four of these. They are completely enclosed and they have a heater so they can be mounted on the outside of your coach so they don't have to take away any of your precious space inside your van. And then we've got the Timberline um, hot water and heater system for your van um, uninstalled here so you can see that. Again, that also comes with the Freedom package. So right now they're installing the fresh water tank and the gray tank. They've got them on either side of the van. So fresh tank on the driver's side, gray tank on the passenger side. Uh, they contribute a lot of weight to the coach when those are full. So they've got them on either side so you have balance and then they're located between the axles. So underneath the chassis here, you can see that this is the all wheel drive because we have the multi-clutch gearbox here instead of the transfer case for the old four x four. So here are the raw wood walls. They've been CNC cut for exactness and then they're wrapped with a quarter inch foam and ultra leather and then installed inside the van. Midwest offers the most luxurious mobility vehicle on the market. So you can custom order this with national indoor RV centers. You've got the Brownability under uh, the van lift. You can do a full quad. Um, so if you're in the market for something like this, make sure you give us a call. Here we are in plant one where the reassembly begins. Now we're gonna put everything back in and build our final product. So you can see that we have two lines. We have the business class cruiser line, and then we have the RV line. The RV line goes a little bit slower because there's more things going in there. So I'll walk you through the process as it is reassembled and becomes your van. So here we have another new Heritage van with the graphite interior. As you can see, some of the cabinetry has been installed here. You'll also notice that we've got the laminate wrapped wood in the uh, Heritage because it's an entry-level product. Um, this wood is from Genesis, same quality, same wood that you would get in the Grand Design product. Going back to the benefits of the free trade zone, we get this beautiful stone gray um, exterior color from Mercedes. So you've, you're not gonna have seen this out in the market before now. It's beautiful and with Midwest, they paint everything. So you see that the awnings are painted. The AC unit pat matches the exterior of this beautiful van. So we're continuing to move down the assembly line. You'll see that this van has the vinyl wrapped walls installed, the cabinetry, the bathrooms being installed. You'll even see um, the Gree AC units, which is top of the line. So when I say entry level, I mean Midwest entry level. Top of the line uh, features, Mercedes chassis, you get a lot for your money with the Midwest product. With the Midwest product, you still get all the floor plans. So this is the FD2 on the short wheelbase with the milkweed interior. So you can see more progress, more things installed here. Uh, again, with the entry level Midwest uh, heritage, you still get the only subwoofer in the industry here in this product. You'll notice here that we're gonna have storage here underneath the sofa 
they've tried to move everything to the sides to give you that pass-through space here from the rear of the van. So if you've got a Midwest van on order, this is an exciting corner for you. This is where the van takes a turn and heads over into final finish. When it makes this turn, that means you're about two weeks away from your van being complete. So here you can see that we've got the moldings. Uh, so we're gonna have those. This is where they, those are gonna be put on, the bumpers, uh, the cladding. They save that till the very end so that there's less opportunity for anything to get a scratch on it. And then we've got the steps being installed. And the very last stage here is everything is undercoated to protect your the underside of your van. Well, this is exciting because I finally came across one of National Indoor RV Center's vans. So this is a heritage product, um, some upgrades for NIRVC. We've got the weave flooring, which is like what you'd see in a boat. So it's an upgraded flooring. It also has the Firefly Eclipse cellular package on it. So that's super excited for your B-Van enthusiasts that want to go for a hike and leave your pets in your van, you could control that from your you know, cell phone, wherever you are. Very, very, very cool feature. So, wow, we are in final finish. This is beautiful. Look at this beautiful milkweed interior with the weave floor, the beautiful upholstery, uh, cabinets, the solid surface countertop. This is another one of National Indoor RV Center's units. Um, on the Mercedes chassis with the 360 camera. Oh my gosh, there's so much packed into this Midwest entry coach because it's it's not an entry coach like any anything I've ever seen before. A lot of value in this and I cannot wait to get it on the ground at National Indoor RV Centers. So this is the final quality control area. Um, all these vans are getting ready to go to National Indoor RV Centers. I hope that I've been able to convey how Midwest Automotive Designs builds quality in. They just don't inspect it in at the end process. If you've liked this video and enjoyed kind of the behind the scenes look at how these beautiful vans are built, make sure you comment below. Let me know what you enjoyed. Let me know what I could add for the next time. We're really grateful to Midwest Automotive Designs for basically pulling back the curtain and showing us how they do. Um, how they build these beautiful vans, some of the things that go into them. We love to educate our viewers and then hope that you'll come to us when you're ready to shop for these beautiful vans. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.